Welcome at tutorial number 8 of the Trains Model Railway Simulator. In tutorial 7 we have been driving around with our train and we have been manipulating the switches by hand. Wouldn't it be nice if we can automate this? And yes, we can. Let's have a look. We open up the program and hit start again. And in the routes list we try to find back our tutorial number 7 and edit it. Ok, this is where we left off. We have been manipulating these four switches by hand. And I am going to first move the train. So over here I click the train toolbox. Then the move icon and I move it away a little bit. What we are going to try out is if we can give the train some instructions to go from one place to another. But what we need for doing that is to identify uh, some locations and there is a simple trick for that which is in the uh, track menu toolbar. Then we go over here to track mark icon and we have here a red track marker. We can click the plus icon over here and let's see what happens if I add a marker over here. This is the north station. I want my trains to stop over here. So I add a marker. It asks for a name. Well, let's simply call it N1 for north 1. Track 1 is the inside track. Uh, I want my trains to run uh, this, this way. And well, this is track 2, so let's add another marker at uh, north 2 and see what happens. Oh, yeah, that is what happens. This track marker is pointing the other way. Uh, why is it doing that? Well, that's because uh, I did not take care when I was laying this track about the track direction, but apparently that is important. Well, luckily there is an icon to rotate it, so let's try that. And yes, now it is uh, the same direction as the other one. Let's move it a bit, so that's good. Ok, let's zoom out and add uh, on the south station, let's add two track markers here. Uh, one over here, which we will call south 1, because it is the inner track. Oh, I uh, should have given it a name, can I do that still? Yes, south 1. And then another add another one over here, which is south two uh, <laughs> south two okay that is apparently also uh, rotated so i rotate it uh, by clicking the rotate icon and then clicking the marker oh i i suddenly have two of these well that is not what i want uh, this one i can delete yes delete that one and this one i want to move a little bit over here Alright, we're all set and done. I have track markers with a name and let's see if I can direct our train to drive to one of those track markers. I'm going to move the train back to our track. Let's place it over here and I, uh, I am going to the driver over here. First it asks do you want to save, yes, but now I want to save with another name, tutorial number 8. Yes, that's ok, and now it's saved and it opens up the driver. I go for a uh, model train, control and let's right click and move the camera a bit. I am at station north track 1 and I want to go to station south track 2. Over here you see, maybe you can better see it, you see I am the driver of this train. I, when I click the train over here you get the driver of the train and there is this little green arrow. I can give it a command by clicking on it and it opens up a list and I see I can navigate to track mark south 2. Well, ok, let's see what happens. Whoa. It starts to drive, it automatically switches the junctions for me. Oh, let's give another command. Let's say wait over there for 10 seconds. 
Let's give another command. After that, navigate to track mark north 2. Let's see what happens. Okay, we are going to south 2. Yeah, that's correct. That's what I wanted. If we are over there, somewhere over here is my track marker. And then we are going to wait for 10 seconds. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit for fun. Okay. It's now waiting for 10 seconds. You can see over here the command that is now executed. Yes, that's finished. And now the next command is executed, which is called navigate to north 2. Isn't this fun? Yes, it is. We can drive perhaps many trains. We have four lanes over here that we can use. Maybe we can even drive with four trains. Let's try that in the next tutorial. I think then to avoid any collisions that we need some signaling on the track. So maybe that's a good plan to try that out too. Okay, if it stopped at north 2, that was my final command. And then, uh, well, the, the, the game is over. Let's go to the next tutorial to add more trains and see what happens.